I would now like to request Justice Tahir Ali Ansari, Judge of Supreme Court of Nepal, to present his views. members of judicial and legal community and distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I have to say that I am from Nepal. And first of all, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to the organizers and the Supreme Court of Pakistan, its Honorable Chief Justice, Justices and officers who have worked hard to materialize the vision for organizing this for the I thank the dignified members of bar and bench and the experts of different organizations who have made valuable presentations on various useful subjects in this conference. My special thanks go to those who have presented very knowledgeable papers in this session. Of the conference. I am here to comment on papers which have been presented here in this session, but I also want to express uh, thanks to those who have presented earlier in plenary session and those papers which are very useful, very informative, very educating and heart provoking so that we have come to know about approaches and concepts on different grounds that uh, environmental law and justice, environmental justice should be implemented in our respective countries. The factors and causes for environment, environmental loss are pitiful and are damaging everywhere. Everywhere, I I I express and I want to um, send a message from myself and from my country that. This sort of uh, convention, uh, conference may produce very fruitful results to the countries which are fighting to uh, mitigate the causes of destruction and degradation of environmental system in our region altogether. Environmental issues, as we have come to know, the environmental issues are related with the different other factors. So, only one factor cannot be dealt with in isolation. We have to deal with different issues and different uh, solutions jointly and combined with combined efforts. You see, when we confront with the ground reality in different nations, you see, uh, some, some communities, uh, some poor communities live in uh, forest or hill region. They, uh, they are so poor that they are dependent on the forests, wood, wood of the forest. They cut forests. Then there is soil erosion, land erosion, loss of water. Then those communities migrate from there. They go to another place and they do the same there. When our governmental agencies do not have any uh, forceful laws and means 
to check these things, we have to face such sort of problems and every time we face, we have to look after another solution. So, this is very much a relative concept which uh, as our dignified and experts have told, have expressed in their respective papers that combined efforts by different stakeholders should be made to uh, eradicate these evils from society and from our country. Today, our papers, we have all three um, different papers on many things. First is the training and capability, capacity building of the sharing and there is second, the conditional justice is that. You want the justice as the um, stuff. Uh, mm. Yes, in environmental justice, no one has to do but one in Iran. And if in Iran, no individual has to win the case. So, this will still be resolved. With providing solution, appropriate solution to the concerns in the So we have to find out the specific measures to clear solution of the concerns in the And when we talk about the day, you see the present day, <coughs> I think that the uh, uh, will have. The who are uh, uh, from the states in the state, they don't have uh, formal education about environmental law, environmental justice. So they need to be educated, they need, need to be trained, and I am very much impressed about the innovative idea in Indonesia, as the Indian Honorable Justice has said. Presented here that they have uh, they have begun to train their judges who have, who have not received the formal uh, training or education on environmental law. Actually, it is very practicable. Uh, other countries may also follow this practice. Uh, we, because we have our uh, respective digital academies, some uh, sort of uh, Training methodology. So we can um, provide some sort of uh, practical training, practical know how to judges and to some judicial officers that they may understand the concept of environmental justice in respect of our legal framework and to the uh, around the edge of such a country. Very informative and very practical, flexible. So, it should be uh, considered in our country also. And secondly, I congratulate the uh, Honorable Ali Lisa, uh, the Justice of Pakistan. Uh, he very nicely and passionately uh, observe the Islamic perspective. Uh, the perspective. Uh, he he uh, expressed the, the environmental issues under Islamic perspective that Islam uh, doesn't allow that water to be destroyed, uh, other species to be destroyed. Everyone has to do his duty and you accept, you do what for others, what you do for yourself. That's very fast uh, provocating this life of law or this mechanism. 
these are not provided. The right to life cannot be implemented fully. So, and even in this region, Indian people also have this fertilizer. But uh, in our uh, country, from where I have come in part, there has been an economic cause in the, in the very ancient condition that every one has the right to live in a uh, good atmosphere. Good, uh, good, uh, good environment, good environment. But you see, we have only uh, one act, that is Environmental Protection Act, uh, enacted in the year act, and there is a special uh, rule also. They have arranged for IIE and IE, uh, IIM, uh, IEA. Uh, environmental uh, research impact, environmental impact, and uh, uh, initial environmental examination. But there is no any problem uh, like uh, uh, those in Pakistan, as I have heard that they are uh, in the institute, they provide problems. And there are many other, in many other countries, um, there are problems in Bhutan also. But we have not legal mechanism to enforce those uh, under Manila and under Mukhra. So we are uh, running uh, um, very bad uh, right, and may hope that we are going to do it in the future. Or, so, so far, uh, as I have said, so far the judges are concerned, I should remind uh, again that uh, they should, uh, they should uh, work on their own and they should be supported and coordinated, cooperated with other stakeholders. Because in isolation, um, not a single paper can make results. A whole is also needed that the regional cooperation should increase because in a country, when in a country anywhere there is a soilism that affects other parts, and when a country is uh, affected, that affects other parts of the world. So, uh, as we have noticed in the um, I address in the presence of uh, Mr. Uh, Adil Nadam that uh, in which way the politicians go from one gun to another. So all stakeholders should combine their efforts to, uh, to, to curb all these failures and uh, to, uh, to increase the standard of environmental law. In standard law, uh, to improve enforcement of standard law, in environmental law, and to amend uh, environmental justice as far as possible. Finally, I hope all of us are serious to listen to and keep with us <coughs> the message from here to our respective country so as to help formulate appropriate policy laws to implement effectively and to coordinate other efforts by other stakeholders and also to coordinate and communicate regionally, regionally and globally so that our efforts may uh, may uh, make a practical result and with these uh, words uh, I want to conclude.